Now to the news. The scandal at the heart of the royal family in Dubai has spread to the United Kingdom. Princess Haya, one of the reported six wives of its ruler, Sheikh Mohammed Al Maktoum, has left him and fled to London. It's another blow to the image presented to the rest of us of the United Arab Emirates as a perfect holiday destination. I felt it before I heard it. I am the spirit of possible, the spirit of Dubai. Well, all this after another princess, Latifa, the sheikh's daughter by another wife, tried to escape by yacht last year, releasing this video as she did so. Pretty soon, I'm going to be leaving somehow. I'm 99% positive it will work. And if it doesn't, then this video can help me because all my father cares about is his reputation. He will kill people to protect his own reputation. He only cares about himself and his ego. And if you are watching this video, it's not such a good thing. Either I'm dead or I'm in a very, very, very bad situation. Well, we can tell you what happened to Princess Latifa with the eyewitness account of her friend, Tina Yohayanen. She is a martial arts instructor and she helped on the escaped attempt, organising a former member of French Special Services. First, we drove from Dubai to Oman. And once we reached Muscat, we took a dinghy to the international waters to meet with the captain and his crew. It took us about five hours to reach the, the boat, though. So you are heading in a dinghy for five hours into international waters? Exactly. It was meant to take about two hours, but the sea was extremely rough. There was a warning for storm, but that didn't stop us. It was a huge adrenaline rush. I'm a skydiver myself, but this was something beyond skydiving even. Why is that? Obviously, you don't see any land. You're in the middle of the sea. The waves are three meter high. Um, it's, it's quite an experience. So you're now boarding a yacht. What kind of journey then took place? Well, it was eight days at sea. Eventually, Latifa was suffering from seasickness. I had a migraine for about 48 hours. Very stressful. Yes, very stressful. At some, especially at the point when we realized that there were people following us. But uh, how were they following you? We saw a search and rescue plane above us and the captain informed us that there was a boat following us for, for the past two days. Um, he could see a boat in the radar moving really slowly, but right behind us. Inevitably, you were going to be intercepted. Yes, yes. So when that moment came, maybe it wasn't a surprise, but there must have been some shock. What happened? Me and Latifa were in our cabin when the attack started. These loud noises, uh, gunshots. Eventually, the cabin got filled with smoke and we had to go to the upper deck where we met by commandos uh, with laser sights, multiple guns pointing at us. It was completely unreal, something that you only see in the movies. So, mm. Unfortunately, this was very real. and It was very real. You then were taken to prison, all of you? Yes, yes. I mean, obviously Latifa was taken by a, by a helicopter and a plane, possibly to, to Dubai, and we basically continued with the boat. And what happened to you in captivity? I was taken to a secret prison where I was interrogated. I was told that I had stabbed the ruler of Dubai in the back by helping his daughter escape. I was initially threatened with a death penalty and life sentence for what I had done. I asked to make a phone call, contact my embassy, my family. I was told nobody makes phone calls from this place. So it was quite scary. Why do you think you were released after some weeks? I think because the video that Latifa recorded before we left Dubai I was released and there was a huge media attention to the story. I think the media pressure helped us, so they had to let us go. We are now back in another media firestorm because of Princess Haya. So Princess Latifa is the daughter of Sheikh Mohammed by one of his reported six wives, of whom Princess Haya is another. She's now left the Emirate. She's seeking life in London, where it's reported. Uh, what link do you think there is between wife Princess Haya and daughter Princess Latifa? 
Well, obviously, Princess Haya was part of a PR stunt organized by Dubai back in December, where uh, she brought uh, Mary Robinson to Dubai to try to whitewash Latifa's kidnapping. So I think that way, Haya is actually responsible of, of Latifa's current imprisonment as well, because um, she, she instead of helping her, she was actually making Latifa's situation worse. So why, if, if Haya's in the court and safe, why would Haya leave? One of the reasons could be that she has found out things regarding Latifa's kidnapping, former imprisonment, and she wanted to guarantee a better future for her own children. Could she be frightened herself? Yes, yes. I, I understand she's probably very, very frightened at the moment, hiding in the UK. But that actually would give an opportunity to Mary Robinson to finally speak and tell us what happened in, in Dubai when she went there to, to meet with um, Latifa. Is the royal family unravelling in the UAE? Yes, it surely is. I don't think Sheikh Mohammed has ever gotten so much of negative publicity. Two of uh, his daughters are currently uh, either imprisoned or drugged. And, and even the wife is fleeing with, with, with his children. What else is happening over there? Dubai is trying to market itself as a safe holiday destination where you have uh, equal rights for everyone. 2019 is the year of tolerance. What tolerance are they talking about when your own daughters are locked up? And finally, go back to the beginning. You befriended a princess. You tried to help her escape. It's the stories that that are written by by authors of fiction. Could you dare to predict how this story ends? Well, I can only talk about my personal account. I'm not going to stop campaigning for my best friend's freedom until she's free and she can live the life that she has always wanted. So whatever it takes, I'm going to keep on fighting. Tina Yohayanen, friend of Princess Latifah.